Welcome to Ortho Evidence, and thank you for being a part of the fastest growing clinical evidence tool in orthopedics. This quick video will introduce you to the content on OE, its layout, and how you can stay current with the latest research findings. There are several different types of summaries available on OE, all of which fall under the ACE, or Advanced Clinical Evidence Banner. The first type of summary is the ACE Report, which is a critical appraisal and summary of pertinent details from high-quality randomized controlled trials and meta-analyses. Next is the ACE Review, which provides an overall assessment of the current evidence in a specific area of research, pooling findings from RCTs and meta-analysis to provide an up-to-date perspective on the topic. And finally, the ACE Evidence Summary, which is a report based on a conference abstract or evidence that is lower than level 1 to 2 on the hierarchy of evidence. To keep this tutorial short, we'll go over the ACE report and how it's organized. For this example, we'll use an RCT-based report. While some information headings may change depending on the type of ACE report, its relative position is the same. The ACE report is made up of three main sections, publication characteristics, critical appraisal, and the summary. Publication characteristics can be found in the top left of the report. This section contains an image of the publishing journal, a link to PubMed, a description of the type of study, the ability to contact the corresponding author when applicable, a list of authors, the publication date, and a link to a downloadable version of the report. Below this section, still on the left-hand side of the report, is the critical appraisal. This section currently provides two scoring systems that assess the overall quality of the publication being summarized. You can see these two scores by mousing over the graphics. Soon, users will be able to see the fragility index scoring in this section of the report as well. The risk of bias evaluates the methodological quality of the research, apprising the study based on 10 predetermined questions adapted from the Cochrane Risk of Bias Assessment. The reporting score measures the reporting quality of the research and has been adapted from Detsky et al. Finally, a user rating can be seen below the two critical appraisal graphics. This score is the average rating provided by OE members assessing the overall quality of research presented in the ACE report. The final section, which makes up the bulk of the report, is the summary of the clinical findings. This section begins with important notices. For example, if a report has been author verified, there is an author interview, or if our summary was limited in any way. Next, readers will see two titles. The first title, which is in black, reports the main finding of the study. The second title, which is in red, is the actual publication's title. Below these titles are the publication's citation and the synopsis, which is a quick glance at the overall outcome of the study. Funding information and conflicts of interest can be found in the first table of the report. The remainder of the report is dedicated to answering five main questions. Why was this study needed now? Providing basic background on the topic area and establishing the need for the study. What was the principal research question? Presenting a clear research question and main objective for the study. What were the important findings? identifying all the pertinent results from the study. What should I remember most? Distilling all of the findings into a simple takeaway message. How will this affect the care of patients? Providing a final statement on how the findings may affect patient care in the future, and a call to action for research questions that remain unanswered. A table is also presented in the report which describes the population, intervention, comparison, outcomes, methodology, and timing. Finally, once a user has read and digested the information, they can share the report among multiple social media platforms or via email, and also rate and comment by using the features at the bottom of the report. Thank you for taking the time to view this video, and if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us.